Hey there, YouTubers! Hey there, subscribers! Welcome to another tutorial from the Tech Guy Tutorials. Today we are going to be looking at a software called Paintbrush, and I'm just going to type that into Google. And we're going to go down to the third result, and we're going to go and click, and that will bring us through to the, another website. And what we're going to do is click free download, and that should begin to download. So there it is going, and I've already got this software, so I don't need to download it. So I'm just going to, well, I'll leave it there. So now I'm going to go to the software, I'm going to click to open. And what it's going to do is bring me to this uh, sort of welcome page and where you can set your um, canvas size. Now, this is something you can't do on Microsoft Paint, yet this software sort of rivals Microsoft Paint. So in that regard, it's a great plus side, and I would highly recommend the software anyway. So you can change this to whatever you want, whatever. Uh, size canvas you want, and I'm going to pretend I'm going to be making an album cover today, so I'm going to stick with 500 by 500 pixels, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, as you saw, the canvas size changed there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little toolbar, and I'm just going to work through some of the different functionalities here. Now, I'm going to start with the... Um, I'm going to start with the paintbrush tool, seeing as we're on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some designs. And I'm pretty into designing at the moment, so um, yeah, I've been I've been asked to do a few album covers recently. And I like to play around on paintbrush, and I really do get some good results, so I'm just going to go ahead and feel free to do this as you, in the, as you watch this tutorial. And then, so that's pretty simple. To change color, we just go to this nice little array of crayons. And I'm going to take this nice pink and do some more swirls. Lovely. So that's how you change color. And you've got a uh, secondary color there. And you can click on secondary color too. And then also that will come into play in a bit. Now this tool here means you can select some stuff. Command C, which is copy. Command V and then you should be able to move this around like so, that's just copy it. command V again, that will copy again so that's pretty simple and this tool here well, that does something different and we won't go into that right now because it's a little too complex now we've got the simple spray paint tool if you're into graffiti like I am then you'll love this tool and you can create some really legitimate looking graffiti on your computer. So I won't dwell on that for too long. Now I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool. And I'm going to pick a new color. I'm going to go for red. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And I will fill all the colors that are in one area. Pretty simple and pretty effective for filling large areas of color. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the bomb button. And I'm going to change this to another color. Black. Gray. And if you click bomb, it will just start the page afresh. Uh, sorry, that's the secondary color, so go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to go to the line tool, and that's pretty obvious, and the curvy line tool. And what we're going to do is stretch it one way, stretch the other way. You get two clicks, and then you can change the shape of the uh, line in that way. going to look at these three uh, shapes, and they will do the same sort of thing. So, first of all, it's just a line. Second of all, is opaque box. And third of all, is a box with the secondary color in the middle and the primary color on the outside, which is, can create nice effects. And I have used that on a few album covers myself. Now, we've got the text tool. Now, this is really quite intuitive and it's really great. So, I'm going to click, I'm going to write tech guy tutorials and I'm going to choose my font impact, why not and just got to highlight this, don't forget to do that and you can go ahead, I'm going to click LCD because that's sort of to do with tech and I'm going to go and hit 
a font size and place and that basically means you can place it where you want and what happens is every time you place it uh, you place it in that perfect spot that you've got so I'm going to go ahead and place another one and you can keep placing because the text is going to stay there so you can place all day long and just really have fun with that guys so last of all I'm just going to look at the zoom button and that just zooms you in and out and if you want to go back you double click or right click if you're using a mouse now the last tool is the paint um, eyedropper so we're gonna go ahead and get the eyedropper and select uh, say we've lost we've lost the um, gray from earlier so we're gonna go to the eyedropper tool pick the gray up and we've got the gray back again so that's pretty simple and so there are just a few things you can do with this great software I'd say it rivals um, other software such as Photoshop and certainly Microsoft Paint and I just think it's really great freeware and you'll get a lot of use out of this so you have a play around with that I hope I've explained a few of the tools that are pretty hard to understand um, you just keep playing around as you play more with it you'll understand how to use it thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll be back soon with more tech tutorials